time to talk a little preseason. And people say, ah, preseason games. They don't mean anything. They don't have an impact on the season. Well, let me tell you something. They do. You're in the trenches with Dave Lapham, brought to you by First Star Logistics. And uh, I, I can remember a, a preseason game and the decision was made in a preseason game that altered the career of a hell of a football coach. And it was very, very unfortunate. Let me go back to 1975. Paul Brown was our head coach. We go 11-3, and three, and we lose as a wild card team in the playoffs by three points on the West Coast out in Oakland against the Raiders, the then Oakland Raiders. And the Raiders go on to win the Super Bowl. And we're, we're right there with them. We're, we're hanging right with them the whole game. We just come up short. So Paul Brown felt like, okay, this is uh, the football team's where I feel good about it being. It's time for me to retire. And he turned the reins over to Bill Tiger Johnson, his longtime offensive line coach that was with him from day one of the expansion franchise Cincinnati Bengals. And Tiger Johnson was my first line coach and my favorite coach. And, and with him as a head coach, I was thrilled. I was thrilled when he got the opportunity. And in 1976, we go 10 and four. And back then there was only one wild card team. So with 10 wins, we didn't even make a wild card. Uh, we, we, we missed out by a game. So we're, we're still playing pretty darn good football. And then the following year, we go eight and six under Tiger and uh, lost a couple of games. We could have closed out and won to go 10 and four again. But still, over a two-year stretch, we're 18 and 10. We're playing pretty decently. And we were feeling good about the, the upcoming season. Well, in 1978, we're playing the Green Bay Packers up in Milwaukee in the last preseason game. And uh, we end up winning the football game 17-14. So we won the battle, but we lost the war because Tiger decided that he wanted Kenny Anderson to cool down and warm back up and play just one more series in the second half of the football game against the Packers. And Kenny broke his hand in that, in that series during the plays in the sequence of that series, following through uh, in the pocket, just hit somebody's helmet and, and breaks his hand. So we start the season off 0-4, Kenny has tremendous respect and love for Tiger Johnson. He tries to come back probably too soon. We lose a fifth game in a row to start the season. Paul Brown fires Tiger Johnson because of this decision, basically. Once uh, Kenny broke his hand and, uh, you know, we were pressing, trying to win games for Tigers because we knew that was going to be a tough situation. And uh, we end up starting 0-5. We end up, uh, Homer Rice is our interim head coach. We lose three more. We go 0-8. Halfway point of the season, we're 0-8. And, and we're not really that bad a football team, but we've lost our quarterback and we've lost our head coach. So we're trying to pull ourselves out of that downward spiral. Well, the second half of the season under Homer Rice, we showed that we could compete. We went 4-4. Four and four. You know, We finished uh, decently in the second half of the season. So at that point, Paul Brown decides to make Homer Rice our head coach again for the following year and take the uh, interim tag off. He went 4-7 and seven overall and Ty going 0-5 that year. We had a 4-12 and season. Well, the following year under Homer Rice, who Homer Rice wasn't the reason we were on 4-4. We were a pretty good football team. We weren't responding all that well to Homer Rice. We go 4-12 and again. So after going 11-3, and 10-4, and 8-6, and we have back-to-back 4-12 and seasons. So I got a good view of what the roller coaster ride's like. You're up at the top of a peak, and then you ride down into the valley, and then – Paul Brown decides to uh, move on from Homer Rice and lets him go and brings in a guy named Forrest Gregg. Well, two years later, we go 12-4. and four. We win the AFC Championship, and uh, we lose the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 16, but we're knocking on the doorstep. The following season, there's a, a work stoppage, but we go 7-2. and two. So over that stretch, with a 12-4 and four and 7-2 and two record, 19-6 and six in 25 games, we had the best record in the National Football League. So now we're moving back up that roller coaster up to another peak. So up and down. That's how it is in the National Football League. And unfortunately for Bill Tiger Johnson, if he could have had one decision that he could take back in his entire coaching career, it would have been halftime of that game up in Milwaukee uh, against the Green Bay Packers, that preseason game that we played in Milwaukee. When he decided at halftime, let me just have Kenny cool down, warm back up, and go one more series. For the sake of one more series, it ended up costing Tiger a pretty promising career. Very unfortunate, but 
That's life in the National Football League. As they say, the NFL stands for not for long. Hi, Dave Lapham here. Have you heard about In the Trenches with Dave Lapham presented by First Star Logistics? Catch new episodes from the world of sports and broadcasting. Search for In the Trenches with Dave Lapham on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts.